I'm Caleb Wild, a sixth generation funeral director. And here are a few of my confessions. I grew up in a funeral home. As a child, I played hide and go seek around the caskets. I celebrated holidays in the same rooms where other people grieved their lost loved ones. And I once peeked into the morgue while my pop-up was embalming a corpse. Basically, I've been up close and personal with death throughout my entire life. This unique experience coupled with my religious heritage, which viewed death as a punishment for sin and hell as a terrifying reality, created in me a death-negative narrative. I could see no redeeming value in it. So, like most people, I planned to get as far away from death and the family business as possible. It was an understandable reaction. As a species, we're biologically wired to evade death for as long as we can. However, we've become too adept at hiding it, vilifying it, and when it can be avoided no longer, letting the professionals take over. That all changed for me when I finally joined the family business in my mid-twenties. I tremble to say there's good in death, because I've looked in the eyes of the grieving mother, and I've seen the heartbreak of the stricken widow, but I've also seen something more in death, the sacred spaces it creates. I've seen how death harbors a sense of Eden, where we can touch a vulnerability and transparency in ourselves like nothing else. I've seen how death creates authentic moments of self-reflection, like nothing else can, and how heaven and death are somehow woven together. How the best of our humanity, how our most intimate moments with God and with each other are somehow found in the spirituality of death. We fear death because we don't know it. We don't see it, and we don't touch it. And what we don't know, we've painted in broad strokes of darkness and negativity. The death-negative narrative wouldn't be so strong if we only had the ability to see, touch, and hold our dying and our dead. This is the message of my book. I want you to see a little of what I've seen, so that in embracing death, you can more strongly embrace life.